convenience centers are places where Tennessee residents can drop off residential solid waste. They were created to provide access to proper solid waste collection and disposal for people in rural areas that may not have trash pickup service. By definition, convenience centers have controlled access and an attendant on site during convenient operating hours, including weekends. How are you doing today? The convenience center attendant has to assist residents who are dropping off waste. They also have to prevent scavenging and vandalism, keep the site neat and safe, and control what is accepted at the site. Your center was permitted by the state of Tennessee. This video will review the requirements for operating your center and address some key points for dealing with the public. It's your responsibility to make sure they understand and follow the rules. If you have questions about anything in this video, please ask your supervisor. Keep your site clean and orderly. Sites that are clean and orderly have less potential for accidents. At the beginning of your shift, note the condition of the center. Check the waste containers and make sure the area around them is free of debris or obstacles. Block off or partition waste containers that are full. Make sure that wastes are stored only in designated containers and bins. If your center collects used oil or other liquids such as paint, make sure there have been no spills or leaks. Make sure liquids are stored on paved surfaces or covered storage facilities designated for these materials. The beginning of a shift is also a good time to check the condition of your safety equipment. All convenience centers are required to have fire extinguishers. Make sure yours are properly inspected, maintained, and stored. You need to be able to communicate with other staff and be able to call for emergency help if needed at any and all times. So make sure your communication equipment is working properly too. All centers must post their hours of operation. You need signs clearly marking the entrance, exit, and traffic flow routes. Other necessary signs include the types of wastes accepted and any applicable local laws or policies. And always post the hours of operation clearly to avoid after hours dumping. Signs can also be used to help cue cars inside the center. Speak with each driver as they come in if possible. During busy times, make sure you're aware of and actively monitoring the traffic flow and the actions of the residential users. You can't do that if you're in the booth watching TV. If customers have to wait for access to a compactor or a recycling bin, Tell them to wait until the other customer pulls away before moving their vehicle into position. Cones or other barricades may be helpful. Make sure the containers at your center are filled in an efficient manner and only pulled or emptied when they're full. Pulling or emptying partially filled dumpsters wastes time and energy. So communicate clearly to your customers where to put their waste so you can fill each dumpster completely before starting another. That saves your county money. Municipal solid waste, or MSW, means residential household garbage. It does not include waste from industry or business. It does not include materials that are hazardous. Even so, MSW can still be a safety or health hazard because it can contain flammable, corrosive, or toxic materials. Be aware of these dangers and take appropriate precautions when handling MSW. Improperly managed solid waste can lead to the spread of infectious diseases. Unattended waste lying around can attract flies, rats, and other creatures. Your center should have defined procedures for when to pull containers and compactor receivers. These procedures should minimize the length of time waste is held on site. It's good practice to empty waste containers at least once every seven days. 